A young genius recently argued that CERN is creating a portal to lead us into other dimensions. He believes that some physicists and the Large Hadron Collider created a portal capable of leading humanity into another realm. This issue is so complex that it is hard to believe that a young boy this age can grasp it all and think out of the box. He is a genius, right? Curious to know how the machine was employed to create a new portal? Stay tuned, as you are about to find out. In recent years, scientific teams have begun investigating the multiverse, other dimensions, how time works, quantum entanglements, and consciousness. Our cosmos is filled with many amazing things, so this research is of utmost importance. So far, some of their findings leave us with more questions. And to think that they have only just started can sometimes be scary. Max Laughlin, dubbed the smartest kid in the world and considered a juvenile genius, astounded the world with his exceptional academic ability. The young genius has made various assertions that have piqued the scientific community's interest, the most frightening of which is about CERN and how it may have ruined our universe. Max claims that CERN destroyed our world and that we are now in a parallel universe similar to the previous one. He believes that limitless parallel universes are being constructed. According to Max's idea of infinite parallel worlds, reality in this universe may not be the same as reality in the next universe, and everything is different. He used the Mandela Effect, a phenomenon in which people have memories of events that contradicts the general consensus or establish documentation, to support his claims that we have all somehow phase-shifted into the darkest timeline. The Mandela Effect, founded on December 5, 2013, when Nelson Mandela died of cancer, is the key to this merging of worlds for young Max. This bizarre occurrence triggered a wave of similar events in which individuals started recounting key events that occurred unexpectedly. The strange thing is that this only became apparent three years after the Large Hadron Collider started operating. Max says that this impact occurs because the universes have merged and we now share the same past. A person has one thousandth chance of having recollections of the other world. Many others believe that the unusual phenomena, often known as matrix mistakes, are caused by the merging of universes and the inconsistencies that result from this merger. Max explains that energy cannot be eliminated, just altered, as stated by the British physicist and mathematician William Thompson and Lord Kelvin towards the end of the 19th century. As a result, when our universe was destroyed, it was hurled into another universe, which he refers to as a mirror. A parallel world is remarkably similar to ours, with just minor deviations. As a result, our universe fused with the mirror universe. Time and history are waves that move through each universe in a straight path. The smaller the discrepancies, the closer these parallel lines are to each other. But no matter how equal they look, there will always be a percentage difference, even if it is decimal. That is, deciding whether to walk on the right or the left side of the sidewalk. However, this is just one proponent of this theory. Researchers emphasize that there is nothing to support this idea. What exactly is this machine and why was it built? The Large Hadron Collider, or the LHC, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It is housed in CERN, the European Particle Physics Laboratory in Switzerland. The 600 hectares of CERN facilities have a complicated street network in the open sky, impossible to traverse without a map. The structures date back to 1954, when the Super Laboratory was established. At the time, 12 European nations resolved to combine their resources to stop the brain drain on the United States during and after World War II. A tsunami of small particles, the quarks, is housed in a tunnel and travels through the vast wiring of this accelerator. They accomplish it by traveling near the speed of light via two vacuum tubes in opposing directions. The particles are then forced to clash along a 27-kilometer long ring. 
the collisions produce millions of luminous beams which are studied by four massive detectors, the LHC, ATLAS, CMS and ALICE. Where were we? Yes, the Hadron Collider. After three years of maintenance and modifications, the LHC reopened on April 22, 2022. Run 3 is scheduled to begin on July 5, one day after the 10th anniversary of the discovery of the Higgs boson. The LHC is used by scientists to put theoretical predictions in particle physics, notably those linked with the standard model to test. While the standard model can explain practically all particle physics discoveries, several problems remain unresolved, such as what dark matter and dark energy are. Why is the matter more abundant than antimatter? The LHC is intended to assist in answering such issues. The LHC can recreate the conditions that occurred only a billionth of a second after the Big Bang, Scientists may use the massive accelerator to smash high-energy subatomic particles in a controlled setting and examine the interactions. The finding of the Higgs boson in 2012 was one of the most critical LHC discoveries. In January 2022, CERN scientists reported evidence of X particles in the quark-gluon plasma created in the Large Hadron Collider. The startling reality is that CERN succeeded in replicating a scenario that has yet to happen naturally since a few microseconds after the Big Bang. When Run 3 begins, we may anticipate a flurry of new discoveries, so now is an excellent opportunity to examine what makes the LHC and the rest of CERN so special. Max claims at one point that mankind recognized CERN as a horrible idea saying that even when we thought about launching it, we knew our universe would collapse. No, not at all. He refuses to offer sources for this debate. While physicists have their idiosyncrasies, we doubt they conspire to kill mankind while receiving funding from foreign governments. He also dismisses CERN's efforts to replicate the processes seen in space here on Earth. The objective of the Large Hadron Collider is to facilitate these reactions. As we mentioned, the scientific world has been outraged by these assertions. Various scientists have stepped out to this young guy with multiple claims. Let's look at some of the criticisms about Max's work and ideas. Pay attention to what he says. You will know that this kid has no clue what he is talking about if he understands the most fundamental and basic notions in physics. His innovation is a crystal radio which has been around for a long time. That device they're selling either has a secret battery or is linked to a power source. Simply watching his movies can help you comprehend. To call this jerk a physicist is like calling a chimpanzee a dinosaur. It's also a disrespect to true physicists who spend years researching and contributing to the discipline. This person isn't a genius or the next Tesla, it's all made up. Worst of all, his father is encouraging him rather than educating him. From the comments, it's easy to know that many individuals are jealous of Max's intelligence. Workers at the Particle Collider claim that he isn't strong enough to inflict such harm and that even they can't generate a miniature black hole. Therefore, such charges are baseless. There are several tales, parallel worlds and videos on Matrix faults and the Mandela Effect. These contradictions may indicate that we are now in a parallel mirror universe. What are your thoughts on the revelation from the world's smartest kid? Let us know in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.